I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply different materials on a single wall in Revit. Okay. If you look at this my design, you see that I have about four different materials on this single wall or in this model. I have this white paint, I have brick, okay, I have this dark brown, and I have this light brown as well. Okay, so how do I go about that? If you look at this uh, left hand side and this rear elevation, you see that I've applied both the brick and also the brown materials. And at the rear elevation also, you see that I still have white paint and I have brown paint. Okay, so I'm going to be taking you to, through the process of uh, applying the remaining materials on this remaining L shape. Okay, both this right hand side and this front elevation. So to do that now, I will go to modify on my modify tab. I will go to split face. I will click on it. Then I will select the wall which I want to apply that material. I will left click on it. Then once you left click on it, you are going to see some yellow lines which uh, indicate the, the 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 frame of the wall, okay, or the line of the wall, how the wall is being shaped, okay. So I want to have brick at the bottom, okay. So I'm going to trace this particular one which I've done before. I will trace it from here and take it to this next vertical yellow line. You can see it here. So I will stop this here, okay. Then I can also take this from here and take it down, okay. I will take it down. I will stop it at this point, okay. I will also take this right from here and I will take it to this point, okay. And I will finish this up. Okay, and if you look at this model, you see that it looks as if uh, as if the structure is divided into two. Okay, so if I go to paint, I will go to paint. This paint, you are going to be seeing different materials under your materials palette. If you go to your manage and you go to materials, you can uh, create new materials here. Okay, you can go to uh, this create and duplicate new materials. Okay. You click on create new material, you rename this material and you select any color you want to use here, okay? When you click on apply and okay, then you are going to see them under your paint, okay? So I'll go back to my modify and I'll go to paint. So right here, I have this brown paint here, okay? So if I click on this brown paint, you see that the brown is going to apply the way it is here okay can you see and the bottom is left out this is because i have split the face of the wall okay what if i want to apply another materials on top of this brown paint that i just applied uh let's let me search for the brown paint that i, that I use at this top so i will search for the light uh paint sorry i'll go back to my paint tool again i'll click on this search tool here and I will search for my light brown, okay, uh, light brown, okay, uh, where is it here, okay, this is it here, you can see I've renamed it to be light brown, I will click on it, then I'm going to select the wall, and as you can see, it has changed back to light brown, this is because I've split the face, okay, so if I also over the cursor on this one, is also going to change to this color okay what if i want to apply a brick to this bottom so i will still look for the brick materials here brick okay i will click on it and i will select the bottom where i want to apply the brick okay and as you can see the upper paint remain while the lower one change to brick okay so i can close this for now and i will rotate my building Okay, and I will still do the same thing at this end. I'm going to select a uh, split face. Then I will select the wall. Okay, you can see this yellow vertical line and this other yellow vertical line here. This is like the beginning of the wall and the end of the wall. Okay, so I'm using my line as you can see. Then I will trace it right from here. Okay, 
I uh, will trace it from here and take it to this point. Okay, and I will finish it. Then, uh, for these edges also, okay, let me use my paint too so that you can understand what I'm saying. If I choose my paint and I select this brick and I click on brick, you can see that this place is still left out. This is because I've not split that edge. So I will go to split face again and I will make sure I select this face. You have to make sure that the edges of the wall is selected. Okay, as you can see, you see that these edges and these edges have the yellow line. So I'm going to trace this from here and trace it to this point. Okay, and I will finish it up now. You see that it looks as if it's divided into two. Can you see? Then I'll go to paint and my brick is still active. Then I will select the edges of the wall. Okay, then I want to also apply this brown paint to this bottom. So I'll just go to the light brown again. Okay, uh, I'll select it. Then I'll paint the bottom with light brown. Then at this point also, I'm going to select it also so that they can have the same color. Okay, can you see how that is being done? Okay. That is that on how to apply different material on a single one. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop for now. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.